Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Let's see how this pans out. Let's see how it looks on camera. Make sure we get all of these beautiful bug outs on screen. Hopefully you guys can see all that. Let's see here. Let's wait till everybody gets in here. We got a bunch of people jumping in. Let's see, how does that look? Are we getting everything on there? I think so. Huge shout out to Stacy Bolster Blades, my newest master moderator. Thank you for being here. Had all sorts of fun people jumping in early. Had, of course, the Master Moderator 6000, Big Red EDC, member of the crew. We had Z-Man, ZDC, member of the crew. Also, Mike Jernak, Lizette and Mark Gonzalez, member of the crew. Freak Show EDC, member of the crew. We also got Hinder, Collector 41, Top Dog, Michael Morgan, Michael R., Craig Wilkes, Slim Tissue, Rusty Knife Lover, member of the crew. Uncle Cow was here early, Tim Haraway, Stephen Wallace, Salt Knives, had Mike Jernak here, member of the crew here early as well. Be for Baron, member of the crew. Paper Tiger, member of the crew is here. Big Red put up the link for the 11K giveaway, which closes tomorrow, Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific. We also had Louie and Nick Martino here early. Of course, Pocket Razors, member of the crew in the house. And we can't forget, I did see the early super chat from Big Red EDC. <laughs> Hinder Collector and I are doing a little trade of some knives, so we'll be opening up a fun knife that he sent over. Kevin Kirk, member of the crew, is here. Of course, Michael Jernak, like we said. David Iverson, both members of the crew. Thank you guys for being here. We got Z-Man ZDC putting up a woohoo! Big Red EDC supporting for 24 months with his gold ZS. Yeah, buddy. Thank you so much, my friend. Therapeutic Edge, member of the crew, and also master moderators here. Thank you so much. Women Carry Knives is driving, but says hello. Hello, Christine. Women Carry Knives. Got to check her out. Always fun. Always, always Representing the ladies. C. Lemansky's in the house. Member of the crew. What's happening? Smash that like button. Heck yeah. Gonzo's here as well. What's up, Gonzo? Got a little bit of background noise. Hopefully you guys are okay with it. Got a little fan running in the background. It is 12 noon on the West Coast, and we're at 91 degrees. Woo! 12 noon, 91. They say we're not supposed to hit triple digits, but we'll see how that goes. Aberdeen Blades, what's up? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh, Peter, Therapeutic Edge, Super Chat. Thank you so much, my friend. That was very kind of you. I don't have a little skip to it. I was... Uh, Spent a little bit of time the last couple days watching um, Harry Mack and his Portland concert when he came to town in April. I wasn't able to make it, but it was really cool that he posted it. We've got a couple bu uh, bug outs to look at today. We're going to talk about some bug outs and uh, also open up some very cool packages that came in. Yeah, I, yeah, I know, Alpha Animal. I was going to post that, but it only gave me four lines on the poll, so... Trust me, we got some Makarta here. We're representing some Makarta. I didn't get I didn't put all the bug outs on the screen, they just wouldn't fit, so. I know. I love that silly little horn. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Randy F, what's up? Therapeutic Edge, member of the crew for 24 months with his gold ZS support and do something kind for someone. That is so awesome, man. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Salt Knives, what's up? What do you have against satin bug outs? Uh, I don't have anything against satin bug outs. I got some satin bug outs. <laughs> that is kind of funny though. They are all coated blades. Uh, the biggest thing for the satin ones on some of these builds are, the reason I didn't go with it is because you get the, the black liners, you get the black hardware and access lock and pivot. So 
That's why I didn't go with satin on a lot of these builds. So any of these builds, that's how they go. Some of them are stock, you know, this way. Um, like this one's stock. This one's stock right here. Big Red's favorite. Patina Turner, what's up? Alice, what's happening? Scott Benefield's in the house. What's up, Scott? And then, of course, you have your gold class. And then we have our very beautiful anodized one from our friend Rock Scale Designs. We'll talk about some of these in a minute. Oh, Adam's here. What's up, Adam? Jonathan's here. Yeah, and that's that's the thing. Like, if I could order, you know, some of those, you know, if they came like, if you got the regular FRN, GRN, FRN, Grivery, whatever, um, bug outs, and you could choose like the black hardware and stuff, you'd see more satin blades. But I still got some. Bam and Ninja's in the house. Marcus Forbes. What's happening? Happy Sunday. The blue G10 is beautiful. It is a beautiful one. Now I do have a bag left of bug outs here. Let's see if we have any beautiful satin ones that we can put out. Yeah, we got some cool satin ones. Of course, we got this carbon fiber one, the satin. A little serrated action. Some uh, carbon fiber aftermarket scales what's up jared white ryan Haig, what's happening the red one's a stock one that was the international bug out that came out um a couple years ago but it's a pretty pretty groovy one you can build this one in the custom shop now yourself but at the time this was a uh international exclusive and was really cool they included it so Mino 533 with the minis. You want to see some minis? I got a couple minis laying around. I got a mini right here in G10. <laughs> another coated blade, black hardware. Got another mini right here. Let's take a look at this one. Benchmade is not. They're a privately owned company. They're not on the public stock market. It's kind of a purple, gray, black kind of carbon fiber scale oh my gosh stacy just joined the crew everybody let's welcome stacy to zach's daily carry crew thank you for joining miss master moderator that is awesome thank you stacy let's give a little shout out to that real quick pocket metals in the house as well one of the other master moderators here. What's up? My name's just Bill. Jonathan, what's up? Let's see. What else do we got here? We got some other carbon fiber goodies. Some red hardware. A little red geared backspacer. Titanium. From our friends over at Rock Scale Design. Trying to find some good satin ones for you. What's up, ENG EDC, member of the crew? We got this Blade HQ exclusive. Apologize, this one's a little dirty on the blade, but got the green hardware, the G10, 20 CV. Now, that one's really dirty. What's up, D Metal? Whiskey 6, member of the crew, what's up? Welcome, welcome. We also got this one right here. This one was a beauty. Kind of the translucent exclusive they did, limited edition. Got that hidden butterfly, semi-hidden butterfly. So yeah, there's a bunch more bug outs in here. But we'll talk about some of the ones on the table. Thank you, Big Red, for posting those links. Thank you for Stacy joining up, member of the crew now. Very awesome. Got some exclusive access coming your way. Stacy. Please send me an email, zach.edc at gmail.com. want to send you out a little swag pack. Channel swag pack. We want options not listed in the poll. <laughs> I, it's, I, hey, with the bug outs, there's way, I'd need like 10 or 12 lines. And there was a question back there about third one from the left, I think. Who made it? Let me look. Mark says, you can send me one of those. Paracord coin pouch for challenge coins. Oh, nice. 
There you go. There you go. Very cool. Yeah, I'm trying to find that comment so I can answer that question. Oh, there we go. Mike said it. Zach, Zach who makes the scales third from the right? Okay, third from the right. One, two, three. These are the very elusive limited edition titanium bashy design scales. And just to let you know, they are currently not for sale. I mean, I think the only way I would sell these scales and it would be a hard choice is if like somebody was like, Hey, I got that October 2000, uh, blue aluminum bench made 940. I want to trade, you know, then we'd have to make some conversation, but these are actually really, really awesome. The texture is fantastic. They are titanium. Um, he did amazing work on these. So yeah, very amazing. What's up, Byron? Welcome. Welcome. Stacy joined the crew, JR. So as like you, a member of the crew, Stacy joined up as the crew. She's got her blue ZS now. She can rock all those awesome emojis and be a master moderator. What's up, Todd? All right, so is it going to give me an option here? Let me see. It will not give me the option I want. So we'll keep on. Yeah, and that's the thing. I just, I mean, honestly, the titanium makes it a whole different knife. And I get it. If you're looking at, at budget, though, for titanium, I would definitely recommend these Flytanium crossfade scales. Pretty well for the budget for titanium. And uh, it really transforms your whole entire knife. And as you can tell, some of these I need to take apart and put slick em all on, you know? I just got some more. I got my new package ordered up with slick em all so... That was pretty awesome. Yeah, there you go. Go support for the community, KnifeRights.org. We write Knife Law in America. Most definitely a wonderful organization to support and a wonderful man, Doug Ritter himself, behind all the action. Oh, you stripped a screw in your Flytanium? Uh, that's a bummer. You can always ask them. They might send you out a new one, um, you know, because they put some of those inserts in for the, for the screws, so they might send you out a new insert. You might have to ask them. They can be tapped in and tapped out relatively easy. Or maybe they just say send it back or something like that. But I would definitely reach out to Flytanium on their website um, and just ask them about that. They're, they're pretty good at their customer service. So you can just find out what they would recommend. Bam and Ninja, what's up? Todd, what's up? All right. So anyways, I'm going to roll through this really quick and kind of let you know what we got for bug outs on the table. And then um, also to remind you, uh, I know we put it up just a minute ago. Oh, you have the crossfade on the full size and the mini pocket razors. Yeah, they're they're pretty awesome. Oh, nice, Sam. Blackblade hardware. Yeah, and and honestly, like I have some of the ones, the original um, G10 and other materials for the bug out from Flytanium, and then they came out with this crossfade design. And of course, then it was like, I got it in black linen micarta. I got it in carbon fiber. These are the carbon fiber scales, crossfade scales from Flytanium. And they're just tremendous. So, yeah. I mean, I highly recommend those. You know, I have the G10 version as well. It's just not represented. But, I mean, in comparison to like the stock G10 that you can order from Benchmade. I mean, these are solid, but... I mean, you know I like a good aftermarket scale on my knife, so it's all good. All right, so let me do a quick run through on these so you guys can see what these are. And then after that, uh, we'll check in and see what we got. Grumpy Grunts in the house, as well as Evil E. What's up? Luke, what's happening? So first off, on the left, these are some beautiful rock scale designs. Scales. Put on the 535 GRY-1, so you got the gray blade and all that. But the anodizing he did on this is pretty pretty rad. I went with the gear backspacer. I, I carry this. You can see some of the markings, some of the you know things that'll happen to your anodizing. So you know one of the nice parts is you can always send it in. He can freshen it up, a little bit of a charge for it. But but yeah, it's all good. Oh, you're watching it from your phone. Okay. But yeah, exactly, Nick, the critter scales. It's what he calls this pattern. And these are all milled in. 
So pretty cool. Adds a small amount of texture. They are, you know, decently slick though. Um, and then this one right here, of course, this is the gold class bug out that came out here back in 2019. The damn steel blade. Everything on here is stock, except I did put on a Timascus. It's hard to see in this light, but I put on a Timascus backspacer, which is pretty cool. Kind of tricked it out. And then somebody made a little laser marked uh, damn steel pattern on the, the clip for me. That was kind of cool. But yeah, these are pretty awesome. The scales glow, so that's pretty awesome. Um, I think I can get it to glow here a little bit. There's glow in the dark material in the carbon fiber and the C-Tech inlay. Whoops. Okay. So as you can, you can see it light up right here. You can see all the gold or the glow in the dark material that's in the scales itself. And then the actual, you can see how these, you know, take a charge and they'll take a charge like in sunlight or with, you know, any of these lights and you get a little glow out of it, but it looks really, really trick. I mean, it even goes down the, the spine and onto the clip side. So pretty, pretty cool, wicked gold class design they did. I mean, props to Benchmade for doing that one. That was pretty rad. So and then of course this one, this is the Flytanium black linen micarta crossfade scales. And I think I put this one, yep, this one came on a BK-1, a 535BK-1. Pocket metal is like the slip joint king. So if you got questions on your slip joints or something you're looking for, like I said, this is the International, it's the red and black, S30V, it's the Gravery FRN scales, kind of red accent hardware, barrel spacers and thumb studs. A very colorful knife, I like it. Of course, you can build one of those right now on the best Benchmade Custom Knife Shop. And this is the uh, BK-4, it's the 535 BK-4 M390. Stock scales from Benchmade, the aluminum. Got the starburst pattern. Of course, I added the blue barrel spacers instead of red and the blue thumb studs instead. Kind of had to, you know, make it my own a little bit on this one. Looks pretty trick, but they did pretty awesome at these aluminum scales. We'll talk about aluminum scales in just a minute. I got another bug out that's not on the table yet. We'll show you. Oh, your wife's uh, fix, fixing you up on the Instagram? Nice. And of course, this one, I made this one on the Benchmade Custom Knife Shop. S30V standard, but blue G10 scales. Stock from Benchmade. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome. I love it. I love it. Uh, these are the carbon fiber crossfade scales from Flytanium. And in no way is any of this, uh, you know, ads. I don't get any sales. This is just my personal collection of bug outs. This is probably about half of my bug outs, I would say. And then, of course, the titanium crossfade scales. This upgrade was fantastic. They knocked it out of the park on this one. I really want to get a... I think this one just needs to be cleaned up. It's pretty dirty, but I use this one too. What's up, One Minute Knife Reviews? David H, what's up? Welcome, welcome, you guys. Yeah, half of my bug out collection. Now, these are the Bashy Designs one. I know the Death Grips are pretty awesome, Pocket Metal. <laughs> um, titanium. And of course, just uh, honestly, this one, if you guys catch me at a meetup, I try, I'm trying to bring this one to the, all the meetups because this is one that I really, really hope. He did like some brass ones, and I think he was working on copper. Um, you know, he did them for Best Damn EDC as a friend of his and kind of put some out. What's up, High Pointer? High Pointer. Welcome, welcome. Happy Haptics. What's up? Do you like bug outs? Yeah, bug outs are nice. I like them. Uh, I like the 940s better, though. And of course, these are some awesome custom made G10 with Micarta inlay scales with a geared Micarta backspacer from Death Grip Scales. You guys, Death Grips is awesome. I just saw something I reposted on my Instagram the other day. I think it was yesterday or Friday. He's opening up a website 
so you can start placing some orders on some scales. How awesome is that going to be? So, yeah, the Pocket Metal listed his Instagram right there. Thank you so much. But this Micarta with the geared backspacer, one of my favorites. One of my favorites. And then, of course, this one was uh, another custom knife shop one. They actually had this in their case. Somebody ordered it um, and went through those. Yeah, I think these are the basket weave ones from Flytanium. And I'll tell you, somebody missed out. S90V, black and gray. Pretty basic, but G10. So it's kind of kind of cool. So I picked it up. I, I was suckered. No, I'm just kidding. It got me. It drew my attention. So whoever ordered it and canceled their order, thank you. You have the mini E. Nice, nice. That's cool. Um, okay, and so and then this is a mini bug out with some G10 scales from Rogue Blade Works. Standard S30V. And then this one right here is also another set of carbon fiber scales from Rogue Blade Works. Which he hasn't been putting out many scales lately. He did a pre-order on some uh, Crooked River scales or something like that. What did he do the pre-order on recently? But uh, that's the only thing I've seen. I put a little geared backspacer on there from Rock Scale Designs on the Mini. Kind of makes it a little custom, makes it look nice. Plan on buying and demolishing a bag of Doritos. Man, I, I'm a fan of the Cool Ranch, man. Just going back in the day, the Cool Ranches are pretty good for me. Your G10 guy? Nice, nice. There you go. There's a link for Rogue Blade Works. It's pretty empty over there. You just got to pay attention to his Instagram. He does a lot of posts through there. So kind of hoping he rolls out some more stuff coming up soon. That'll be pretty rad, pretty wild. Dark Gravity, what's up? Chilling in the pool, nice. I wish I could be doing that. Let's do a temperature check. We're up to 93 here on the West Coast at 12.20 p.m., 93 degrees. So I think we're gonna hit that triple digit today. Gotta hydrate, a little water. Jay Richard from Hillsboro, man. He's feeling the heat with me today. I love it. Now, we do have a different aluminum version. We have the Supreme Bug Out. A lot of you guys have seen this review. What do you think? Aluminum scales, 91 in Maryland. Oh, wow. I know, Pocket Metal. This is way too hot for us, West Coasters. Now, this is a Supreme Bug Out. Super Supreme. Um, I've, I've had mixed reviews. I asked for a lot of feedback. I know patina. <laughs> so this is one of those where it's like, Oh dang. Oh, Pagre is you guys might hit one Oh three. Yeah. We're in there too. Ooh, 111 for JR. Ooh. Oh, on the East side, Tyler is going to hit a hundred. Dang. 90 in Tucson. Yeah, exactly. That's about right there. Oh, 99 in Gilbert. Oh, wow. Feel the heat every day in South Texas. Yeah. So this is one of those weird ones. Yeah, I mean, the, I, I have to tell you, you know, somebody contacted me and said, hey, are you going to buy one of these uh, when they first were dropping? I'm like, no. And then luckily a friend of mine was like, hey, I bought one. You want to check it out? And I'm like, yeah. 99 in Texas, 90 in Kentucky. Man, everybody's hitting the hot weather. <laughs> you thought SOG was bad. Isn't it standards and observation group? Don't we have to call them that now? <laughs> What's up, Mark? Bone scales, yeah. And this is the crazy part of, you know, there's some texturing on here. So I really want to find out kind of how they did this. If they masked this off and lasered it, or if they did a secondary, you know, kind of heat treat. Because obviously you can see the standard scales, which look pretty terrific in red. Anodized aluminum. I think it's cool. And then you got a Cerakoted blade, a little bit darker color than the scale. So... Yeah, and they, and they charge, you know, Supreme charged uh, a good amount for these. Oh, pause for a minute. You dropped a bug out screw on the ground. 
Good luck with that one. Hopefully it's not carpeted. It was 93 this morning, but now it's 83. Oh, it might rain. Oh, wow. 87 in Georgia. Dang. So great action has not been taken apart. Pretty wild. Yeah, just the red. Yeah, I could see them doing some, you know, anodized aluminum. Maybe throw it in the custom shop. I don't know. But, yeah, definitely, you know, love it or hate it is kind of how I thought. But, yeah, it's a great one for the collection. What's up, Uncommon EDC? How are you? But it's one of those where it's like, even as a bug out fan myself, I was like, you know, the black one was tempting. They have a black one with the same Supreme logo. But if they did a blue one, oh, uh, man, they might have hooked me on a blue one. But <laughs> I don't know. I think I think it's a really cool collector version. Supreme, obviously, is super, super, you know, specialized company out of New York. And they kind of do a lot of different products with their logos on it. So what's up, Chris Rayner? How are you? How are you? But some scales and would just say sup <laughs> nice open l ten dollar beach one. Oh, i bet yeah and that's the cr crazy part like i went and looked at some of their stuff they have online right now which i linked in my video if you haven't seen that i did a re just an unboxing review on this one so far and i put the link to the supreme website and you can kind of check out products they currently have for sale it's pretty interesting so yeah, if it was blue, I'd probably definitely get one for the collection, but now I would say like if it was a 940 and it was Supreme, I probably would get it because I'm a I'm a collector of the 940s, but yeah, that's how it kind of went. So we'll clear some of this stuff off and uh we'll leave a couple beauties out there. Why don't you guys let me know what you guys are carrying today? What's in your pocket? What's up, Outdoor Craftsman? How are you? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, it was, it wasn't a, you know, a def, it's not something they're gonna, you know, buy a new building with because they only made a small run of it, but. Rusty Knife Lovers got the Kindle Fire, the Demco Knives 8020, 8020.5, and a Spyderco Dragon 2 Warren, or Dragonfly 2 Warncliffe. Nice. Salt Knives got the Ty Kaiser Comorant and M390, Nintendo Switch Controller for Z-Man. Michael R's got the Boker Consign and Cold Steel Broken Skull on the table. Super Freak Day for me, says Joe Solomon. What's up, Knife Nut? Therapeutic Edge has the Rift, Carbon Fiber Scales, beautiful. Mark Vickers carrying the Spyderco Sage again. Michael Morgan's got the full size Orion Linerlock Makarta RPM M9. And a Kaiser Urban Bowie in it, Makarta 154CM. Hinder Collector's back, scissors, and a blowtorch for Alice. Savivia Ortis for Marcus Forbes. Jason, whoops. Jason Brown has the Penguin XL prototype and Jack Wolf a little bro. JR has the Benchmade Mini Grip and the Finch 1934. Pocket Rage is also carrying the Finch 1934 and a Benchmade 940M4 Vic. Ray Gunmickel has carrying the trusty old 940. Nice. No pockets today for Stacy, so she's trying to do chores, but just shitposting on Instagram. I saw some of those this morning. Uh, Matt Lat or Mini Latvin <laughs> and the Boba Fett edition for David H. Blue G10 Scales M4 Blade Bug Out for Todd. Bought myself for Father's Day. First modern knife, nice. Outdoor Craftsman has the Protec Malibu and XM18. Carrying the TRM Shadow Day for Knife Nut. Pulled my Buck 110 out of retirement for Craig. Carrying a Case Canoe for Matthew Russell. CK says, okay, on the way to barbecue. Listening while we get there, nice. Have fun, tell everybody hello. Have a fun shower. It's gonna be a hot one. Uh, Byron Kennedy says, off-grid Cayman XL and an ABKT Stockman toothpick. Mattis Faction's in the house, member of the crew. He says, hey, all eating pancakes with Maine blueberry syrup. Carrying a fork today. Jonathan Toy says, would be carrying my M4 bailout, but the Omega Spring broke. Get a hold of customer service. Get that dialed back in. Randy F's got the G10 mini grip around the house today. Klaus has a Rex 45 Spyderco military. 
in a purple baby banter. My name's just Bill, flipping the 535-3 in honor of the day. Nice, thank you. Very nice, Carrie. Uncle Cal's got the Benchmaker Reptilian, a fine knife. Kaiser Komarat XL for Evil E, another good one. Baron Sons Walnut Barlow, Angry Watermelon, and a Baby B for Big Red EDC. EDC and PJ's got the Yo Jumbo S90B Carbon Fiber. Dark Gravity's got the Tag Hauer Aqua Racer in my wrist, on my wrist, and a Reverse Tux Frag Titanium PM2 on the side of the pool. Mike Jernak has got the Blade HQ Bug Out with Black Micarta. Women Carry Knives has the Kaiser Chili Pepper. Nice. Spartan Aster and Spartan Enyo Fixie for Paper Tiger. My EDC is my XM18 Auto, says Hinder Collector. He's just rubbing it in that he's got the Auto XM18. Um, let's see here. Bama Ninja's got the 8020.5 Red Flytanium Bug Out and the Sea Snake around my neck. One Minute Knife Reviews going south to Texas Knife Group Meetup this afternoon. Nice. Tell everyone hello. Have fun there. Everything packed up except my mini Trudon, which is always in my pocket. Omega Springs came last week, so OFC, my beloved mini bug out. Nice, Alpha. Rusty Knife Lover, I also have two EDC everyday canines at my feet. Ready to go. Wait, Brady Blade HQ did a black Macarta bug out? <laughs> I think he just has the Blade HQ one and puts some black Micarta on it. Nick, I think that's what he went with. That's pretty awesome. High Pointer XM18 3.5 Recurve for High Pointer. Slim Tissue's got the Satin Auto Bedlam and ZT0462. Miller86 got the Ferrum Forge Archbishop 3.0. Top Dog sitting here playing with 8015. Love the Scorpion Lock. I know it's not for everyone. Uh, Chris Rayner carrying my phone, looking for my UPS update on my Benchmade blades, coming back from the sauna in Oregon. Oh, man, that's such a great day. It's an exciting day to get those back from a little refresh sauna trip. Scott Benefield, look at the Benchmade 940-2, the Gonzo 746, or something like that. Deadpool Lee, what's up? Got the Mini Adamas and a bug out for the couch carry today. William Lenderman, what's happening? Got the Pena X-Series Apache and a laid-back Jack. Uh, no, I messaged him a little bit ago. What's up, Dane? How are you? How are you? Oh, Dane, I forgot to tell you that stuff shipped. Um, and, uh, our friend should have it. Our Texas friend, uh, if not Monday at the latest. Uh, but yeah, I'll send you that tracking. I space that I sent a bunch of stuff on Friday and forgot to send out all the tracking stuff. Uh, day in the life, day in the life. David Iverson's got the ZT0393 SW, a custom case trapper. And my usual. Napster Ninja's got the Microtech SOCOM Bravo. That's a fancy knife, man. Check that one out. Shot Show, it's nice. Manny Z's got the Titanium 3V Demco 8020.5. What's up, Manny? Member of the crew. Uh, Rob Tenring's got the 535CF Elite bug out. A solid knife. Cold Steel SR1 and a bug out today for Average Knife Guy. Happy Haptics got the AC EDC D pad gamer in Zerky Tie for good luck and stress, stress relief while I watch the Blue Jays game. Good luck. And GEC 71 Bullnose in red linen because it's Slippy Sunday. Uncommon ADC is carrying my Stormtrooper mini bug out today. It's a fun little one. I have the Broken Skull for sale. There you go. Michael Orr's Michael got the Broken Skull for sale. Speaking of skulls, put mine out there. Um. Nothing at the moment for Mark. Their card on the top. Oh, okay. Card on the top, says Hinder when I open it. Okay. Um, A-Pass 280's got the CF Elite Mini last week. Like it, but hey, it's too small. <laughs> oh, uh oh. The Shaman for CB. Will B's got the Grismo Norseman in the pocket. XM24, Kaiser Begletter XL, and the Spider Co. Smock on the table in front of me. Nick's here. What's up, Nick? Just got the wife, the 535 BK-4 bug out. She loves it. Oh, man, I love those scales. Thank you, Nick, for the super chat. That is very, very helpful. Every time I go to the post office, I always think of you guys because you guys help me out with that. Uh, Pocket Metals got the Forest Tank PM Skull Hank. A. Harrison Sheepsfoot Barlow and Stag and the Vox 5. F5.5. 
Carrying a Rosie and an Asher Spiro for Paul Windmiller. What's up, Paul? Artisan Tylos for Joshua today. Little Native in 4V for Wilbur Paul. Dun, bun, bun, dun. Gonzo's got the Forest, the Baby Banter, the Lynch Pry, the Lancelot Wallet, and a Forest Hank. Very awesome. Honey Bear, remember the crew? What's up? Got the AD 20.5 with original goat scales and an all black Lynch Northwest. All access past 1.6. All right, Peter, you guys have fun. Arrived at your destination. You have arrived. Please exit the vehicle safely. I love it. Empty pocket for Nick. Empty pocket. Oh, no. 551-1. New anodized blue from Pops, says Sharp Guy ATX. Oh, I bet that looks great. I got an autocrat on the way. Do you like that one? I like the autocrat, Sam. It's nice. It's definitely a nice one. I have the black one, the black with the blue hardware, of course. Uh, Troy Jones is here, Northwoods Leatherworks, classic 535 with Raylight bead blasted frag tie scales from Urban EC. Those scales are nice, I love it. Prodax Mordak and a Condor Native Hunter for Addicted to Blades 2. ENG EDC says, carry my BGM Hollow Reground ZT0640 with Makarta skills today. I love all these customs that you guys do, all the custom things you guys do to your blades, it's so awesome. Full tie, TRM Neutron 2 for Billy Warren. Oh, Billy, I love that. I missed out on those scales last week. I was so bummed. Work was so crazy, and it was like uh, they posted, like, because they're obviously three hours ahead of us. So I got it late, and then I was like, I went to the website, and they were sold out. I was kind of hoping for a set of those, but they are gorgeous. So that's cool. That's cool. I'm glad you like it. What's up, Dan? Welcome, welcome. Nick says, today, working on the yard, OG 940, my Leatherman skill tool today. Oh, we only we need to work on those likes. Yeah, heck yeah, hit that like button. I love it. Carried the ASK Jefferson on the bike ride, but swapping over to the Sea Otter. Dan Brock, I love it, man. I uh, love it. Got some ASK stuff going on. That's pretty cool. American Service Knife. Oh, let's see. Bug outs live and updates amazing live stream. Thanks, Nick. I appreciate it. Yeah, um, I put all the bug outs away. I brought even more out, so you may have to go back and look at the beginning because we had some pretty cool ones. TT Max got the bug out in the proper. Um, let's see here. Pocamel is a very gentle soul. What's up, Moose? Welcome, welcome. Tom is here. What's up, Tom? All right, caps lock for life. Yeah, and also FYI, if you are looking for a ASK Jefferson, uh, go check out DLTTrading.com. Just saying, um, if you're looking to buy one of those. Um, let's see here. Um, finally got a Civivia Elementum. Not keen on the blade wobble and the crappy centering. Got to fix it, but I like it. Okay, okay, that's cool. That's fair. Keep it down, <laughs> patina. Ember 13, just got back from the casino and still rocking the Kaiser XL. And hello to everyone. Okay. What's up, Ronald? How are you? Got your Zon today. Oh, nice, nice. That's cool. Okay. So let's do something. Let's go ahead. Let's move this stuff up a little bit. I love how we can adjust things a little. Because we're going to have a couple unboxings to do. So let's make sure these all fit back on the tray so we can put them back in the bug out bag. What's up, Levi? Welcome, welcome. All right. So first off, I have a nice little letter here. And let's see. Northwoods Leather Leatherworks, Troy Jones, made in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Nice. Now to the Coma cheese curds. Is there an option for cheese curds? So I hear those are some of the best. Just saying. CB, what's up? All right, we got some stickers. You guys recognize that sticker? How about that sticker? I cannot confirm nor deny buying the last Finch Cimarron for my collection from DLT last night. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Poland says hello. What's up, Dommy? Is it Dommy? 
We got some Little Fit Devil stickers for the collection. Um, one of the supporters of Little Fit Devil and have been for a while. So she sent out some new sticker swag to all of her members. So that was pretty cool of her. If you don't know, she is no longer working for Microtech. She's out of there. She's doing her own thing now. So pretty cool. I'm happy for her. What's up, Gonzo? Welcome back. So we're going to put some little Fit Devil stickers in the giveaway today just to make it a little fun. Now, um, let's see here. Do we have... Is Zenny in the chat today? And maybe a couple from traditional pocket knives. Oh, Damien. Okay, Damien. Nice, nice. From Poland. Damien. Right on, right on. Greetings from Holland. Klaus says hello. What's up, Brian? Welcome, welcome. Yes, Brant is here in the house. We have something here from Brant as well. We're going to open up in just a minute. But I was hoping to see if Zenny was here, but maybe no Zenny yet. Okay. So we're going to put this up. We don't want to put old Brant's address on blast. So we're going to do a little unboxing here. What's up, some dude? We're going to get our unboxing knife. What's up, gear up? Just bought a Condor Mini Bush Lore. Nice. I don't want to expose too much of what's... Now, this is a trade that we have going. We were on Metal Monday with Pocket Metal and a few others this last week. Oh, get the Kurds and Astoria. Oh, very nice. Okay. I'm liking that link. I'm going to have to save that one. All right. So let's go back through. Let me pull this up. No box? What's up with that? I'm just kidding. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Michael. All right. We got a little note on the top. Oh, nice. Little hinderer collector. Very cool, very cool. Got his little sticker going. I like that. What's up, Dean? Is there anything in that one? Oh, that's just padding. Okay. I didn't want to throw something away that had something special in it. So, Hinder Collector 41 actually had a couple Benchmades, and he was looking to trade one, and I was like, I'm up for a Benchmade trade. So, I'm going to put this one out there. I have not had to sharpen the channel unboxing knife yet. <laughs> so I'm going to put this one up here. If you guys are Benchmade fans at all, you might recognize this one. It's a Lum Design S30V. Yeah, some cheese, cheese curds and M-Bomb jerky would be a wonderful combo. Wonderful combo. Man, the action on this one is very nice. Might need a little slick em all but very cool. Oh, man, what happened, Brian? Oh, man, I'm sorry. That's not good. Lacey's here. What's up, Lacey? Oh, man, I'm sorry, Brian. Oh, that's... I'm sorry, man. That's no good. Well, just know our thoughts and prayers are with you, man. Yeah, it's not easy when a family member passes, and if it's your dad, that's no good. So, much love, thoughts, and prayers out to you, man. I appreciate you being here. If there's something we can do, give us a holler, man. Oh, Zenny is here. Okay, Zenny. I will say this. Zenny was super kind and sent me out a package of DSKFS jerky. Please check out, and I want to give a huge shout out to David Mateo for supporting the community as well. Thank you, David. Wonderful, wonderful man. And Zenny, thank you so much. I'm going to give this a try. Maybe even at the end here, I'll crack this open, but I wanted to make sure you were here before I shared that, so thank you so much. And shout out to David. Yeah, definitely prayers, man. Definitely prayers out there for you. But yeah, this is the uh, Deja Vu. It's an awesome knife. Um, didn't have one in my collection. So this is one that 
Brant was using, so we did a little trade. He's got a fun knife coming his way as well, Benchmade. So, any tips on removing wood scales? It really comes down to what kind of wood scales they are and what knife it's on as to how you want to remove it. But you can always reach out. We can try to put you in the right direction and get you some good ideas on it. There's a wonderful group of people here in the in the live chat too. You can tell them what kind of knife you're looking at doing. And there's the link right there for the embalm jerky. You guys, honestly, the only way to get this is to have it gifted to you uh, in this flavor. Uh, he's titled at the DSKFS, do something kind for someone. But he has many other flavors that you can buy. I really like the black pepper. Um, I bought a few of the other ones. So, and he'll even get some, uh, some hotter ones for you. So he sent us an extra sticker as well. So we're gonna put a little embalm sticker in the, the giveaway today as well. So that'd be pretty awesome. A little DSKFS indeed. Well, Brant, this is awesome, man. Thank you for the trade. Uh, hope you enjoy yours as well. I'll let you do the unboxing on it. I don't wanna spoil it here. Make him an offer he couldn't refuse. I know it wasn't even a hinder, but it was a it was a benchmade that he wanted, and so uh, we made a deal. I'm still trying to get a uh, you know a hinder out of him, but I don't. I think he's got those on lockdown. So, but anyways, let's show some love for Brian, you guys. You guys have been doing that, so Brian, we're gonna send you some love. right there for Brian. We'd be here to support you, man. That's what we can do, you know? Be here to support you, so. Reach out, we all have Instagrams and emails and all that, so if you need anything, let us know. But keep 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 coming back to all the, the live streams, man. It's good to see you. That Valley, I know, I was trying to get that Benchmade Valley from him, but he didn't want to trade that one yet. We're working up to bigger things. We're working up to bigger things with him. Right on, Brian. Right on. I definitely agree. Um, also, the Pacific Northwest Knife Meetup, Friday, July 15th at WorkSharp in Ashland, Oregon, is on. Um, I'm probably coming down the night before, so I'll probably be there Thursday, Friday, and leave on Saturday. And I think there's uh, at least one person... And I'm waiting on a second that's going to uh, do some carpooling. So we can kind of, we can all share in the cost of petroleum these days. Right, exactly. Got a few spare Benchmades hanging around. Most definitely. Uh, okay, so let's see here. We got, what's up, Emmy? Welcome, welcome. We have... Two, what are these? Let me see what these are, hold on. I'm trying to remember what the last two is. Oh yeah, so we got a pass around knife. We got a pass around knife to open up and look at. Whoa, well this has addresses on both sides of the box, so <laughs> I guess we'll, just so you guys can see what it is. But I don't want to give away, I mean, mine's the P.O. box, so it's not that bad, but I don't want to give away somebody else's home address, because somebody else's home address is on there. So, we will try to be respectful of that. The other one that you saw there was just a company address, so it's all good. All right. I know, yeah, I did a I did a trip down to Ashland here a couple Fridays ago and met up with pocket razors and with with the uh, Kyle at WorkSharp. So we got it all laid out. We're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna do a little barbecue there and stuff. So hopefully we'll see you guys there. I know a lot of you guys are traveling farther than I am, so that's pretty rad. Uh oh. We got some stickers. I ran out, so Knives Fast had this one before me. Nice. That's really cool of them. We'll throw one in today's giveaway. That's pretty fun. Okay. This says Factor. What could the Factor be? We're going to put one of these. D2 Arcaro. What's up, man? Member of the crew? Wonder, uh, D2, are you able to get the time off? 
I thought you said you'd got it. Or had put in for it at least. Rainbow laxative. <laughs> oh lordy. So we'll put a little nice fast sticker in today's giveaway as well. That's pretty awesome. I like that new little design sticker. Pretty groovy. Yeah, nice little case. A little plasticky. Ooh. Now this is the factor. The factor. I gotta be careful. Woo, did you hear that? Oh my gosh. Is there a way to deploy it or is it just, I'm gonna hurt myself, huh? <laughs> I haven't seen how this works. But that sounds amazing. It's set up for lefty. Oh, look at that carbon fiber. Winter Blade Co. Factor. Now they sent this out to the pass around group. I'm gonna have to do it left handed. Oh, get the pocket or get the finger cut kit ready. Do you hear that little ting? Ting, exactly, Brian, exactly. Wow. It's got a pretty good detent too. Uh, it's gonna be 3 p.m. to 6 p.m., Moose on Friday, July 15th, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Ting, that's crazy. I think I should be able to flip the clip over, but I'll see if I can do it just for the review, we'll see. I'm not a lefty, but I like the setup. Magnetic. And the closure is crazy. Oh, push down on the green spine. Oh, ho, 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 mass faction. There you go. I'm trying to do it behind the camera and it's not working for me, but. All right, all right. There we go. Oh, that's good. Everybody's like, push down the green button, man. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want to look at any reviews or anything before I opened it, you know? I, was, I wanted to kind of have that out-of-the-box live unboxing. Detent is the magnets. Yeah, that's what I thought. And there's a link again for from Stacy right there for Winter Blade Co. And they do have this on pre-order, I think, from what I saw on there. That's I like that. I like the sound. Um, obviously I'd like it as a right-handed setup, but I mean, it looks beautiful. That's pretty cool. That's pretty wild. Yeah. Let me see if I can get more sound out of it. Oh, pre-order sold out on a check this morning. Oh, okay. Okay. That it is super smooth too with that. Oh my gosh. Well, that's going to be a fun one to do the review on. So huge shout out to Winter Blade Co. for sending the factor out to the Apex Pass Around group. You'll see this up on the channel. Please check it out when it posts. Always fun with those guys. I know some of you got to check them out at SHOT Show as well, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> when Mass Faction saves the day, you know we're in trouble. Let freedom ring. Heck yeah. Oh. I had this just sitting out. It means we got more. Okay, what else we got here? We have a nicely packaged box that unfortunately, the opening part is, I'll show you the, the box itself, pretty good sized. But this is from our good friends at Traditional Pocket Knives. They sent out a couple knives to be uh, to be looked at. And, you know, I think you guys are gonna like them as well. Oh, that's a bummer, Rusty. Bad internet. We've got traditional pocket knives and traditional pocket knives. 
And we got a letter and some newspaper. All right, CK, take care, have fun. There we go. Maybe it's just the paperwork for the knives. Oh, we sent a couple stickers. There we go. Paperwork, cards on it. Don't forget all of the awesome stuff. Austin's pretty rad, pretty good guy. Sending this stuff out to some of the channels through the pass around, so that's pretty cool. I wonder what's in here. I think I have a pretty good idea. We may have seen some of it also on the old SKL. We're gonna put this away for safety. It's got a nice little uh, wood block that old Keith the Knife Freak made. Got a little QSP in that one. Fun boxes on the table. What's up, Joe? Welcome, welcome. Okay. I do not carry a fixed blade on a daily basis. I have one in my vehicle. And then I carry one. Have a knife day. <laughs> That's pretty rad. Well, QSP Wolf, the knife in the mouth. Oh yeah, this these are their exclusives. Yeah, we got that. Definitely big red. Man, that jig bone. This is a thin one too. Whoa. I like this. That QSP penguin. Frame lock. M390. <whistles> yeah, the jig tie. I like this one. I like this this stock kind of traditional titanium. Woo! It's a looker. And it's really thin. Hey, hey, OCD for EDC. What's up, man? What's going down? All right, so a stock G10 bug out. Pretty darn close. Pretty darn close in thickness. Whoa. I like the thinness of this one. Yours is one step up, Zenny. It's M391. Nice. <laughs> 32 more likes hit the like button heck yeah wow this is amazing i love this one Woo. i don't know if he's gonna get that one back <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> oh man yeah that one's nice all right let's see what the other one is the other one is the black tie handled one okay okay not mad at that at all there we go sticker in the card was a little tight got special brownies Ooh. old dad putting in the work today Ooh, and there's the black one okay now if you're on skl last night you saw some of this action going on even got a big lanyard slot Ooh, the black though. I don't, this, I kind of like the black look, but that regular tie. Whew. I'm gonna have to message him and be like, you just want these sent back, right? <laughs> How much does it cost to keep one of them? <laughs> oh, you can fit a lot of fixed blades in your limo. Yeah, they're, they're stationed in the limo pretty good. Oh, Justin, OCD, he's a master moderator, a member of the crew for... Got the gold ZS. He's been working on knives today. Some pretty cool mods going on at this point. Nice. Yeah. Woof. Okay. Well, I need to know your guys' opinion. The black tie or the standard tie? You're going to get a good look at a T-bone. Dude, I love, I love that movie quote, man. That is one of my favorites. <laughs> New guys in the back puking. <laughs> wee, wee, wee. 
All right. Well, in honor, we're going to throw one of these stickers in the giveaway today. So that would be pretty awesome. Thank you to Austin over at Traditional Pocket Knives, you guys. Definitely check them out. I know they have a drop coming on these very, very soon. So definitely get ready for those. Standard, standard, black tie, black tie, the black one. I like the black one, standard. Okay, there's a good mix then. Can't pick. Pocomel's going to get them both. <laughs> That's so awesome. Right on. Yeah, the murdered owl one looks pretty cool. What's up, John? Welcome, welcome. John, you missed the, the bug out display we had going. You have to go back and check out the beginning afterwards. We had quite a few bug outs out there, including that pretty rad Supreme one. I was kind of kind of hoping they'd do an all blue one in. They'd hook me on that one. Nice. I like that. Okay. Let's see. What else we have going with that? All right. We should probably do a little shout out and a little, hey, how are you, to Work Sharp. They sent me a fun little pocket knife sharpener that we're probably, it says open here. But we're going to put one of these in the giveaway today. So let's open this one. We gotta, we gotta open, we got a couple of them. What's up, Nav Sergeant and Ed Harrison? How are you? You guys welcome. Now, this is one of their ones that I really love these. They have instructions on it. You can sharpen, then hone. It's kind of got everything, and it's so lightweight. Fits in your bags. Eggs is here. What's up, eggs and ham? Remember, for 19 months... Thank you so much, man. Member of the crew. Now, this is similar to the ones that we had from Benchmade that Workshop made for them. But this one has the diamond plate on it. So, you know, they recommend 10 alternating strokes. They have the guides on here, right here. So that's pretty cool. And they recommend doing 10 alternating passes on this, on the plate. And then doing the final hone with the diamond rod on this side. So pretty groovy. You can lash it to your pack. You can throw it in your bag. Pretty awesome. Manifestation, member for four months. I get a free message. Woo! Better not waste it. Hmm. Hi, mom. <laughs> exactly. So this is one of those cool things. You know, honestly, if you have a knife that you want to just go through, you just lay it right here. See how do we show that? You lay it right here. You get your guide set, and then you can just do your pass through, come all the way across, and then go back on the other side, lay it down, do your pass there. So obviously you start with your diamond plate and then finish on your hone. Pretty much all you really need, exactly. So these are pretty cool. Um, shout out to WorkSharp. We're gonna put one of these in today's giveaway. They, they call it the pocket, the pocket knife sharpener. You can find it on their website. Also, just FYI, if you guys and gals are in or possibly in looking for a bug out, maybe a limited edition one in 20 CV, they got a sale going. Check their website. They got this on sale. Ooh. And I'll tell you what, whether you love them or don't like them, um, uh, this is a great, great base to customize. All blacked out hardware, 20 CV limited edition blade. You can put some different scales on there. Ooh. But anyways, they got this on sale. So worksharptools.com, go check them out. But I saw that while I was hit, looking around for some stuff. I was like, oh, and then I'm like, ooh, there's a sale. Ooh, we like sales on bug outs, limited edition ones. So anyways, check that out. But yeah, we'll put one of these in there. Nice, John, you're gonna try to make it to the meetup right on. Very, very cool. Yeah, exactly, Pod Razor. This is a nice little setup. So just FYI, there's the link from Big Red right there. Look at that, M Master Moderator. 
coming in hot. But these are pretty handy. I, I carry one of these, and I actually have the guided field sharpener too, um, but I carry those in my bag every day. So when somebody needs something or even touch up my own stuff, it's pretty cool. So eggs is going to the meetup. Got my vacation approved. Woohoo! I love it, man. That'd be great. See you there. Maybe we'll get some new stories for the group. What's up, Frank Falls? Beat and beat and but Pete. All right, welcome. <laughs> oh, munching on some of that pineapple shake right now. Oh, okay. Making me a little jealous. Eggs got eggs got some in the mail, huh? You're very welcome. Got a little pineapple shake. Is this what this one is? I don't know. This oh yeah, you can order the pineapple shake one. But this one's not. Uh Nap Sergeant, they're doing we're doing a Pacific Northwest knife meetup. Um Pocket Razor's been planning it with Worksharp, and Worksharp's gonna host it. So it'll be a fun one. It's coming up July 15th in Ashland, Oregon. So, a little bit of a drive for you, but might be a fun one. Oh, no, Jimmy, that's not good. While doing yard work, too. Oof. All right, we're going to pull out a piece of this. We're going to give this a little try. Oh, man. It's like sticky. Sticky icky. Okay. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Yeah, eggs right on, man. Oh, the Blade HQ bug out's 140. There you go. You know, that one on sale too. How's it smell? Smells like meat. Mmm. That's pretty good. So anyways, you know, if you want to get one of these, maybe work it out with your buddy. Send a package to each other, but get a hold of uh, Zenny, M-Bomb Jerky, get you dialed in. Bees birds in the house. <laughs> Bees Blades, remember the crew, what's up man? Driving home from work in a storm, listening, right on. Exactly, Chris. Well, smell test. Shout out to Flossie. What up, Jan? All right, Big Red. Take care, man. Oh, barn shop. Yeah, if you guys didn't see the Supreme Bug Out, we showed it at the beginning, S30 blade steel, clip side, show side, aluminum handles. What's up, Tim S? Welcome, welcome. Man, that jerky's so good. Like, it hits the spot. Love it, love it. Oh, JB, we're going to miss JB, but we'll see him soon. Relocating to Salt Lake City in October, so I'll be a little closer. Oh, nice, right on. Yeah, we'll have to meet up, man, once you relocate. That'll be cool. Maybe we'll do like an Idaho meetup or something, or uh, maybe something down, something down that way. I know in October we have Blade Show West, so that'd be cool. You'd be right there. You love it. CB says, I love it. Want knife companies to get weird with it. Get a little freaky. A little freakiness inside. Love, love, love it. There you go. All right. So what can we do here? How about a giveaway? Shout out to Bill Pro X 1840. <laughs> that knife needs some more billboarding. Yeah, they should do the other side too. Maybe the spine. Put, put some like Easter eggs on there. Yeah, put some Easter eggs on there. All right, so let's do a little giveaway. There's a link right there from Stacy, master moderator for the M-Bomb Jerky. We're going to give a little pocket knife sharpener away. 
It's a great little thing. Huge shout out to WorkSharp for sending that out. We are also gonna do some swag from today. We're gonna do some little Fit Devil, some knives fast, some traditional pocket knives, some more little Fit Devil. Of course, you can't go wrong with the awesome Embalmed Jerky. I'm gonna put that one in there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, wow. Wild turkey and venison jerky? Oh, that'd be good. All right. We're also going to throw in some Hogue. Got some Hogue stickers. Some Benchmade stickers. Some KPL. Some Spider Knives and EDC. Of course, some Zach Stuff stickers. Lancelot Leather, better than cardboard. We got, hey, it's the Johnsons. Awesome, awesome sticker design by the one and only Pocket Metal. Venison jerky be bussin'. We got the little Zach stuff. We got some of the, the new design, the holographic DSKFS. We got a therapeutic edge. We got women carry knives. We got damn designs, big red EDC. OCD for EDC, Big Reds, SKL, Do Good, Be Kind stickers, a little more uh, patriotic OCD for EDC sticker, of course, NAF Sergeant sticker in the house, and we got a DSKFS patch in blue and black. I love it. Okay, so what else can we put in today's giveaway? Let's make international friendly. Plans change. Big Red's back. <laughs> Welcome back, Big Red. All right, so we got a, a cool little EDC pocket notebook. People to shank from McNeese Custom Knives. Be nice. <laughs> so we're going to put that in today's giveaway as well. We are also going to something to write with. We got our special fun patriotic pocket pen. <laughs> Gotta have something to write with with one of those books. We also have a really cool titanium keychain from Wesson Knives. A little two piece pull apart one. These are terrific. So, we're gonna put that in today's giveaway. Like I said, it's international friendly. And of course, thank you to Tim S for sending this out. We're gonna give away one of my favorites. This is the i5T EOS and it's black with the blue design. It's got the dual style pocket clip, which I love. You can clip those on your hat. If you wear a hat, so you can go hands free or you can clip it somewhere else. It's got the 30 and 300 lumens AA battery operated Olight. So that's pretty rad. So, okay. So let's do that for today's giveaway. Now, I will say, you guys make sure to enter that 11K giveaway on my channel because I got a Benchmade Meat Crafter and a Benchmade Bug Out that I'm giving away. Two different packages. We gotta get those likes up, heck yeah. And so you don't wanna miss out on that. It closes tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific. I'm gonna do a live stream tomorrow night. I'm gonna try to get it done before Metal Monday. I know there's a couple other people going, so I won't make it too long, but we will just do a quick little live giveaway for you guys, so thank you so much. Huge shout out to all my channel members here. Zach's Daily Carry Crew, thank you so much. There's the link right there from Big Red EDC. Thank you for that. Don't forget to check that out. Save that link in a new tab on your screen. Make sure you enter. Um, and also thank you to all those who left super chest today. I appreciate that. That'll support today's giveaway shipping and we will get this rolling. So let me find a pen here and big red posts up the giveaway rules. One guess, one guess only closest without going over playing the numbers game. One account only. This is international friendly ties. will go to a second round. Oh no. Well, <laughs> crabby twins. Well, hopefully you can post up in just a second here. We'll get that going. 
Yeah, thank you guys so much. I appreciate all of it. Okay. 20 people need to hit that like button. <laughs> I should do some stuff like bees, right? Where we were on bees uh, live at the hive the other night on Friday. Whoa. I just knocked my fan over. There we go. Um, but yeah, that's one of those where it's like, he's like, okay, if we get to 250 likes and we're, uh, we're doing another giveaway, we can, we can swing something like that, but we'll get everybody going on this one. Let's see here. So let me pick a range of numbers. The mental match play that is at hand. And it's not going to be 37. I'll tell you that. <laughs> that was good. What's up, Ninth Chamber? Welcome. Oh, snap. Okay. Close as well going over. If you guess twice, you get to win one of the knives. Mass Faction has been keistering. Oh, snap. All right. So let me look at the range again. As soon as we see a start on the screen from Master Moderator, Big Red EDC, we will go ahead and give you the range. Mrs. Zach would get angry if you go over two hours. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right, so there's the start right there. Let me get the, okay, 710 to 999. 710 to 999, it's on that yellow paper under the O-light there. One guess, one guess only. One account only, please. And I'm gonna have another piece of this wonderful M-Bomb jerky. Shout out to Zenny, shout out to David. Thank you so much. There we go. It's like a, a half double stack. All right. Hmm. Go back here. All right. Got some good guesses rolling in. I forgot I had a Canadian uh, parcel to send out when I went to the post office on Friday. And I'm like hitting the kiosk machine because it's really busy at the post office. I'm like, oh man. Oh, there you go. Big Red says 818 for Zenny. There you go. And I'm like, oh, fudge. Because I had to go through and like hit it for, uh... there you go, Bees is playing for Mass Faction. I had to go and hit the old uh, international customs form and everything else. And, you know, waited in line for like 20, almost 30 minutes. And then uh, it was funny because the manager was the only one working, like all the other little stations were empty. He's like, yeah, people are calling sick. Nobody's here. And I said, yeah, this one, it's too bad. They can't have this on the kiosk. He goes, it's like the, what do you call it? The USA light, <laughs> the Canadian shipping up there. He goes, we pretty much have all the stuff exchange wise at all the, you know, at all the border crossing things. So he's like, I don't know why we just don't include it in our kiosk thing, but I guess they want somebody to physically sign the form and tell them what's inside. All right. Well, that's some good jerky, man. Nick Martino playing for Grateful Panic. Kevin Kirk, did you dye your beard purple? I smell a rat. It's so weird how it holds some of those messages. <laughs> Thank you to my moderators for taking care of that.
yeah, I want everyone to be able to take part in this. Um, you know, the stuff we have coming up tomorrow. Tomorrow night, the giveaway closes. That 11K giveaway. So it'll be some good stuff. We'll send that out too. All right, we'll give it about another 30 seconds. And then we'll put up the stop signs. We'll go back and look and see who is going to win today's giveaway. And again, thank you very much. We got a bunch of live streams coming up, you guys, today. We got OCD for DC tonight, 7 Central. Uh, tomorrow, we got Knives Fast, 8 p.m. Eastern. And then we also have, I got you, Big Red, right on. And then we also have Metal Mondays, 7 p.m. Pacific. And then we're also going to have my live stream tomorrow night. So look for that. Like I said, I'm going to try to do it right before Metal Monday goes. I don't want to interfere with too many people. So what's up, King Snake Jake? We shall go from there. Yeah. Squirrel family. Sun Bun Bradley. Yep, yeah, got a few seconds left to get your guess in. 710 to 999. One guess, one guess only. Jason Bird's got his guess in. Just in the nick of time. Uh, I'm not sure. They're, they got to their location they were going, so I don't think that they're going to go live today. I didn't hear about that at all, so... If, you, if they do go live, it'll pop up, but they were traveling just a little bit ago during our live stream here, so. We'll get the word out, though. There's the stop signs, so let's go back and look and see who's going to be our winner today. I didn't see anybody guess it right on, but I'm going to have to double check, but I saw somebody get really, really close. So we got 710 to 999, 814. Let me undo that so we can verify that the 14 is not closed off. 814. I saw an 813 out there. So I'm going to scroll back through here. Got an 810, which is close, but I think somebody else got a little closer. Got an 813 from Joe Kasperick is the closest I see so far. Oh, snap. Got an 812 from Paul Windmiller. So close. Nudged out by one number. Make that four into a nine so JB wins, yeah. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, that would be no controversy at all. Yeah, you guys were so close. So many of you, like 810, 811, 812. And then Joe nabbed up the 813. But I didn't see an 814 right on. I saw a 714 and a 914. They were thinking right, but it was just a little bit off. That's as far as you can see. Okay. We'll see what else we get. We'll see what the other moderators say as well, just to confirm. But I see it as Joe Kasparik with an 813. Yeah, Zenny, I appreciate it, man. Thanks again for sending out the jerky. Um... <laughs> Mr. McKenzie, what's up? Member of the crew, thanks for being here. Thank you guys so much. Yep, well, I see it as Joe as well. So, congratulations, Joe Kasparik. Send me a message or an email, zach.edc at gmail.com, and we will get this headed your way. And like I said, don't forget about all the other Really, really cool. Thanks. I appreciate that, Justin. Double checking on that for me. Um, OCD for DC tonight. Um, I don't think we're going to have Women Carry Knives or Therapeutic Edge today because they were actually traveling to their destination and just got somewhere. So we'll keep an eye out. If so, we'll repost it up and get everybody there. And yeah, don't forget about that 11K giveaway. It's still open until tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific. It closes. After that, we'll do a live stream giveaway, and somebody's going to win a couple cool prizes. Well, we'll have two winners at least, so yeah, good stuff. All right. Well, thanks, John. I appreciate that. Yeah, you guys, thank you so much. Don't forget, do something kind for someone, even if it's just like helping them cross the street or 
you know, people get a little leery now. If you want to help with their groceries, they think you're going to steal them or something, but you, you guys get what I'm saying. So yeah, Tom, we got to work on the Mrs. Zach sticker for sure. We'll have to check on that, but yeah, Molly and Justin, OCD for DC live 7 p.m. Central tonight. See you guys there. Have an awesome rest of your day. If you are somewhere where it is over 90 degrees, man, stay hydrated. Find somewhere in the shade. Stay inside somewhere with a fan. Uh, that's what we're doing here. Temperature check really quick. It is 1.24 p.m. here on the Pacific Coast or the West Coast, and it is 97 degrees. So it's gone up 6 degrees since we started. So yay for us. We're going to hit that triple digits, I bet. But thank you to all my moderators again. Thank you to the members of the crew. And thank you for you guys being here, sharing some of my Sunday. It's always fun. I love giving back to you guys. And we will see you on the next one. Take care.